is up guys, NPS Reefer here, back at it with another video, as you can tell I'm enjoying some Luigi's Italian Ice, uh, my favorite snack. Uh, so today we have a really exciting video for you, we're going to talk about the orange spotted filefish. Okay, so today we are going to talk about the captive care of an orange spotted filefish. Uh, these are really gorgeous fish and they're not for every aquarist because... They are coral bores. Uh they eat SPS corals in the wild, um, pretty much strictly Millipora and Montes, and every now and then I've seen them peck at acros. Uh, these fish are weaned on the brine shrimp, thankfully, uh, but every now and then I do supplement a small frag of a Montipora in there for them, uh, just like a cheap red Monte, toss it in there, they peck at it a little bit, and then I feed them brine shrimp for quite a while. But Kind of personally, I think they really need coral in their diets to kind of keep that coloration in their skin. Um, like I said, they are really, really gorgeous fish. Um, they are not for the average Aquarius. They I definitely label them as expert only, uh, simply because of their diet. It's really that. Uh, they would be super cool fish if they'd eat more than just coral. And that's one of the things with file fish. A lot of them are coral vores. They do eat coral polyps. Um, a couple different ones eat other things as well, uh, but a lot of them do eat coral. Files are really cool fish. They're kind of related to triggerfish. Uh, just a little bit different and have more strict diets than triggerfish. Uh, but the orange spotted filefish is definitely one of the most gorgeous fishes in the world. And I personally think it's the most gorgeous fish in the world. Uh, it's just such a beautiful fish. Um, for, yeah, care level, I'd label them as expert only. Not saying I'm an expert by any means, uh, because I'm really not. Um, but I am blessed to have a pair of them. It is on brine shrimp regularly and one that will eat TDO pellets. Uh, not like right away they don't like just gobble them up, but they'll let them sink to the bottom and they'll kind of go around and just peck at the uh, pellets until they kind of are gone. So it's really cool to watch. Um, I do plan on showing you guys them eating some brine here in a couple minutes. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit more about their care. Uh, one simple, easy way to keep them in captivity is to have an SPS-dominated reef tank that is flourishing. Um, and you could add one of these to your tank and it'll add color and it will eat your coral. It's that simple. Uh, but if you have a flourishing SPS reef, it is possible to keep one of these no problem. It's that simple. Uh, but if you don't, like I do, I thought about putting one in the NPS tank, but I didn't really want to risk uh, my NPS coral slice for it. Uh, so I put them in my macroalgae tank to the left of me with the three skunk clowns. Uh, so far everything is going extremely well. They are on brine shrimp, both of them. Uh, the one bigger one isn't as interested in the brine, but he will eat them. So hopefully I can get some footage of both of them eating the brine shrimp today. So uh, one other thing, temperature right around tropical range, normal reef tank. I mean 75 to 80 right in that range. Um, I keep most of my tanks around 75 degrees. Um, you gotta keep your parameters stable. They're not, they're relatively hardy, as I would say. Uh, they can last quite a long time without eating coral polyps. Uh, but if you don't have them on a prepared food like brine shrimp or other frozen foods or refrigerated foods, they will slowly starve. I mean, they do last quite a while, uh, but they will slowly starve themselves to death, uh, which is kind of sad. So, pretty much know what you're doing before. You purchase one of these at your fish store or online because they are real pretty dang hard to keep. Um, and like I said, I am blessed to have them on brine shrimp. Uh, I feed them brine shrimp most of the week, and every now and then I'll grab a Montipora frag and they will peck at that a little bit because uh, you, you don't want to like take away their natural diet, in my opinion. So I do kind of supplement that every now and then. So, with that said, we're going to kind of show you the pair of filefish I have. So right here is my macro to tank. It's a 20 gallon lawn. Uh, just a bunch of different macros. It does need a good, decent cleaning right now. Um, a lot of these macros are wild, caught, or picked. So they have a little bunch of random hitchhiking stuff. That is not cyano. It's like this other, I don't know, weird macro. Just kind of growing around it. It just, it just pulls right off. But it is not cyano. And then we just got a bunch of other different weird things kind of growing all over the place. So definitely interesting. This is some red grape in the front, Halmedia, and there's some mermaid fans that kind of fell over. Uh, but there's one of the, both the files are right next to each other right there. A lot of times you can just see them kind of floating around the dragon's breath, kind of in and out of the dragon's breath, because it kind of looks like a coral at some point, somewhat. 
Not really, actually. Uh, they kind of just kind of drift around the tank. Uh, these guys are nice and fat, really. It's kind of nice. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit of brine shrimp in here. Hopefully they'll eat on camera. Right around two of them. One definitely sees them. It's coming out. It's not sure what to do. Yeah, see the other one's just chowing up the brine shrimp. It is chowing it up. The big one is not as interested in the brine shrimp, but it will eat them. But the, that smaller one for sure is just going crazy. Look at that, it's chowing up the brine. I'll add a little bit more and then we'll probably call it a day. This tank is due for a water change today anyway, so I usually just do a heavy feeding on the days of, that I do water changes because it really doesn't matter because I'm going to be doing a water change. But I go some more brine. Back, let's see if they... Yeah, that, that, that smaller one for sure. Uh, the large one, it's probably because it's stressed out. It doesn't usually like when I'm over here. Uh, but if we step away, I can almost guarantee you he will eat some. Uh, but that smaller one is definitely a little bit more... It's just, it's just chowing up the brine shrimp. Look at that. Chowing it up. So, yeah, that's really about it. I really want to just talk about a little bit about the filefish care. Well, guys, thanks for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Just kind of wanted to give you an overview of my new fish that I got. Um, I've had the one for probably about two weeks now. Let's see, yeah, right around three now, actually. Um, and the other one has been about a week. Uh, but they are both on brine shrimp. Uh, the, the one bigger one is a little bit more skittish, so it's kind of hard to like watch him eat. But if you sit back in the back of the room, uh, you can definitely see him kind of picking at some brine. Um, and they do eat pellets, they just kind of peck them off at the bottom. So it's kind of really cool to watch that to you. Uh, I will post that on Instagram at a later date. So, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to be the fish and keep reefing. We'll see you on the next one.